Good morning, Sandy's Fury. The historic storm delivers a crippling blow throughout the Northeast. New Jersey takes a direct hit. New York City especially hard hit. Cats floating down the streets, subway tunnels flooded, a hospital evacuated overnight. Towns still underwater in Connecticut and Long Island, and daylight is just beginning to reveal the full impact of it all today, Tuesday, October 30th, 2012. From NBC News, this is a special edition of Today, Tracking Sandy, with Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And good morning. Welcome to today on a Tuesday morning. I'm Savannah Guthrie. And I'm Matt Lauer. The damage from Sandy is widespread. It is extensive. And while the worst of it seems to be now behind you our coverage of Sandy a check at the latest headlines Sandy will slowly move into northwestern Pennsylvania by tonight also New Jersey transit will be suspended for the rest of today while the rails are inspected and in Ocean County homes were swept off their foundations also the amusement pier at Seaside Heights collapsed into the ocean yeah we saw those pictures and they were pretty dramatic a minute ago and we are watching development on this story an entire North Jersey town is being evacuated because of Sandy it's the town of Munak in uh, Bergen County. The whole town is underwater and hundreds of people are being evacuated after a, a levee broke there early this morning. Now, one county official says the people in a trailer park there had to climb on the roofs of their trailers to await emergency help and there are no reports of injury so certainly that's good news. That's amazing when you consider the circumstances there. Well cleanup obviously underway down at the shore in a very big way and NBC 10's Marissa Brainy is live in Avalon with a look at the situation there. Marissa. And what we're seeing right now, unbelievable damage. This is the bridge you see here behind me from Avalon going into Sea Isle City. And you see that bridge there is totally washed out. It is impassable. The county, in fact, is putting up some barriers. And you see that water just continues to pour over into this area, really weakening the structure. So we're, we're a little far back from it because we don't want to be unsafe. But we wanted to bring you this picture. And joining me is the borough of Avalon's public information officer Scott Wall and Scott just give our viewers an idea of what you're seeing throughout the borough we're getting a lot of questions about people's homes because they can't get in here taking a lot of assessment uh, the day after Hurricane Sandy and what we have found is uh, much debris in the streets uh, some uh, breaches and uh, destruction of bulkheads you can see the access road to Seattle has been cut off we have even seen boats lifted out of the water and placed on streets and front lawns from the powerful high tide that we received last night and I I understand that firefighters are going around and they are checking every property for safety issues, structural issues. Explain to me a little bit about what you're looking for before you let people back in. Right. That's the key message is reentry will only be allowed in Avalon when it is absolutely safe to do so. We have uh, power outages, cable and phone outages. We have debris on streets. We have streets that are impassable. We have uh, significant uh, beach erosion as well. So uh, reentry will only be allowed when that's possible and safe for people people to come in. So we encourage people don't head back to your shore properties until you know right away from your town that it's safe to do so. And as far as water damage, you know, I've been getting a lot of tweets from viewers asking, can you check my property at this street? Um, water damage throughout Avalon, would you say widespread? Do you have any areas that are harder hit than others? We had a high tide last night that we are determining to be historic, exceeded the uh, Halloween nor'easter in the early 90s. Uh, we had a uh, mean low water about 10 feet above mean low water. We have a lot of street flooding in town. Very few property owners are here, but those we're hearing from have had a little bit of water inside their properties. Uh, so we're going to take that one step at a time. Beachfront properties, any major damage along the beachfront or the bay side that you know of at this point? Uh, private properties ha haven't seen it. We have significant uh, scarping of the beaches on the Avalon beachfront. Uh, we have some damage there. So no homes that you know of that are destroyed or, or anything of that nature? No, we haven't seen any homes destroyed or falling into the ocean or anything like that. That hasn't happened. Good news for our viewers then. And just quickly, you said the water got so high at one point there was uh, some water even in the firehouse. Never had water in the firehouse last night. We had two feet of water and they were catching fish. 
Unbelievable. Thanks so much, Scott. Thanks. We will continue to monitor this situation, bring you all the pictures we can. We will attempt to get into Sea Isle a different direction, obviously. Uh, but yes, widespread damage through this area and much more damage than we were seeing earlier this morning in Cape May. I was telling you earlier all morning long, Cape May fared fairly well. Avalon, Sea Isle, uh, we're seeing much more damage and much more uh, debris in the roadway, sand in the roadway, uh, boats in some of the roads, as Scott mentioned. So we're going to try to get you the latest live pictures just as soon as we can. But that's the very latest here live from Avalon. Marissa Brainy, NBC10 News. All right. Thank you, Marissa. Can you imagine two feet of water in the firehouse? fishing in the firehouse. Yeah, obviously, and if you're able to get around, uh, if you're driving around, you may have to negotiate all kinds of things out there in the roads. Right, a lot logs, of debris. A lot of debris out there, but uh, speaking of traffic. Jillian Mealy is standing by with a look at what's open, <laughs> what's closed, what's